Hello, anybody. I am Alpaca Patrol, and this is Crusader Kings 2. I was gonna say Crusader Kings 2: Wrath of the Lamb. That would have been real bad because that's not what this game is. Um, anyway, in the last episode, we started two wars, um, and now we have to deal with those wars, and hopefully, the goodness that abounds from them. I don't know. It could be terrible things, but we're about to find out. Of course, a lot of hey, this guy's gonna join the war. I wonder if you're gonna join this war too. We'll, we'll ask you and see if you're gonna show up. Uh, okay, so he's not going to join that war. That's fine. He doesn't really need to. Uh, these guys, in the meantime, are... Yeah, they're already fighting over here. Hopefully they lose. <laughs> I mean, this should kind of screw them over, which is good. Uh, oh, and we're at war with these guys. How are we at war with these guys again? A fucking gen. Who is he with? Whatever. We'll, we'll deal with that problem when we have to, which is right now, I guess. We'll just summon all of our own local levies. Um, so these guys... No, not not those guys. Alright, hold on. These guys... Oh, look, we have uh, 420 Blazed over here. Uh, and those guys. And we'll meet these guys up in Ingria, because that's where they're going to show up, undoubtedly. Um, this siege is happening, and that siege is happening as well. Which is fantastic. And, uh, again, I, I thought I checked every possible... Okay, he's got 611 men. It looks like he's going to try to attack into our 1,500 men here, which I'm okay with. You could go right ahead, bro. Enjoy yourself. We have our own 1,700-man force up here. Uh, actually, 2,000-man force up here. Who is ready to deploy wherever they need to deploy. Uh, okay, so it's those guys. And we're sitting pretty pretty here. They have to cross, like, two major rivers. Uh, send word of this carriage is, okay, unfortunate accident. Approve the plan. Hopefully this guy's dead. Um, it looks like they're gonna try to pincer attack me, but I have 1,200 dudes of this guy coming in. Oh, yeah, look at Bolgar. Bolgar has aided us in this, uh, in this war here. He's a good dude. Uh, who actually is this guy? His name is High Chief Shilke the Careless. Wow, alright, that kinda sucks, bro. <laughs> Sorry that your name is Shilke the Careless. Sorry that your name is Shilke, firstly. Let's be honest here. It's a kind of a shitty name. And your house is Dulo? Your name is Shilke Dulo. You sound like you're from Jersey Shore. Anyway, whatever. Let's, uh, let's keep the siege going. And, uh, this siege is almost done as well, which is good. We just have to keep an eye. Uh, is planning retribution against High Chief Ketu for having attempted the assassination of Tina. Who is this? Spouse is High Chief Ketu. And my spy master is... Dobrazir. High Chief Ketu's... Well, he already fucking hates me. Right. Uh, Queen Elder will send assassins after High Chief Ketu of Chud. What do I gain from that? Anything? His heir is a woman? I guess that's good. Uh, sure. Whatever. Alright, they failed. I lose 50 piety. Big whoop. Uh, and the Chief of Moskva is dead, which is great. Because, uh, that means success! The carriage was sent flying over the edge of a cliff with Chief Ketsavat. Still in it, the driver I bribed has also been dealt with, leaving no loose ends that can tie me to this event. Wow, we killed the dri- I- honestly, I didn't say you could kill the driver. Uh, shame on such a nice carriage, though. That's- that's true. Uh, the- WHAT?! Wow! An assassin killed me! That's shitty. Uh... Fuck. All right, that has made things real bad for us immediately. Yeah, Queen Ulfdir was taken from his world. Ulfhildr died in a suspicious accident. Long live King Robert the First. And he's technically he is technically the first because uh, we are now the king of Russia. Uh, butts. That's double butts, man. All right, so that means this guy gained. Oh, he gained the Duchy of Livonia. Oh, that's fine. Oh, we kept the Duchy of Estonia. That's. The Duchy of Estonia is all I wanted. Uh, he got Livland. He got Moramar. Okay, that's not that big of a deal, actually. In all honesty. And uh, our wars are still going on, and now we are a six-year-old boy. Yet again, we are a six-year-old boy because my queen is dead. Because I'm an idiot and I didn't put my spy master in here to scheme, which I will do now. 
Uh, absolutely. I will also improve diplomatic relations. Ah, right. All of our vassals probably hate us, don't they? Oh, well, not so much, actually. No, they definitely hate us. Yeah, only a few people like us. Well, that's not good. So, the first person that we can deal with is the chief of Torah pets. Yet again, seems like Torah pets, man, is the place where people want to be dissenting. That seems to be the place. Our Marshal Inga, who has 13 marshalship. You know, why isn't that guy our Marshal? Also, why is this guy... Oh, that's why. Um, He's just the Chancellor. I mean, this guy doesn't like me very much, but he'll probably like me more. Why don't you like me? Foreigner, religious differences, small feudal tax, short reign. Mostly short reign. So we can deal with that. He's got 18 marshal. We're going with this guy. And you're going to go ahead and improve diplomatic relations with Dora Pets. And it is going to work. And meanwhile, this guy is... Yeah, he doesn't hold any land either, so... We'll go ahead and appoint this guy, who likes me even less now. That kind of sucks. I want to give you an honorary title, though. Why don't you be the master of the bow? Okay. Uh, now, our spy master not liking me, that's a serious problem. So we'll go with this guy. Just because he is a guy who likes me. And everyone else hates me, and that's fine. But uh, right now, our main concern is dealing with these wars. Uh, and this guy undoubtedly killed me, which is a fucking douche move. But I suppose I tried to kill him too. So, we are going to murder the fuck out of High Chief Ketu of Chud. He can suck it super hard, because Ulf Hildur was a G. And now our brother is Elf Farderton. Ay ay ay. And meanwhile, I, why am I not being educated? Who am I being educated by? Who am I being educated by? Inga. Oh, Inga's educating me. Hmm, I'm sorry, Inga, but you're not going to be doing that anymore. We need someone with high stewardship like our dad. Our dad will do that. Thank you, dad. You will make an excellent educator for us because you will like us and, you know, you'll have an incentive to um, do good things for us, which is great. Uh, meanwhile, you guys can go to Romney. Yeah, it looks like our allies are fucking with these guys. Over here, we're looking pretty good as well, uh, which is great. We have sieges going everywhere. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. We actually lost the uh, that one battle, or the our allies lost that one battle. I wonder if I could ransom you. Ten gold? Yeah, whatever. I'll take ten gold. Uh, this battle's looking pretty good. That battle looks like they're losing. So why don't I just go ahead and split out like a thousand dudes? Yeah, that seems pretty good. We'll actually get the 900. Actually, no, we'll get the we'll get you the thousand dudes over there to stop this siege, undoubtedly of Zauzeri. Uh, offer of peace. Interesting. What does you give me? Uh, King Robert gains the city of Jerska, gains the county of Latgale. Yeah, that's all I want. Okay. Yeah. I will take that. Uh, that sounds great. Good. Uh, so now we only have one war to deal with, which is fantastic. I like having to deal with only one war. Yeah, this guy is already leading. We'll get Helgi leading at the flank and uh, Latimer on the other flank, and that should be good. Dangerous factions. What is it? Independence? Yeah, alright, well. Uh, that was inevitable, let's be honest here. Rustov, huh? Yeah, there's going to be a huge civil war very soon, so hopefully we can end this war as quickly as possible. Uh, and the wrong type of holding is in our domain, which is which are these cities. So I'm going to go ahead and say... Yeah, it's a city and that's a temple. Let's just create a new vassal. Just create new vassals. These guys like me? Yeah, they actually like me, so that's good. Um, and our holdings are just fine right now. Meanwhile, this battle should be a victory, hopefully. Now we're going to lose. Oh, we won! Okay, that's great. And open council positions, because our marshal 
died. What? Are you dead? Oh, he's incapable. Eesh. I guess, uh, I guess our Marshal, High Chief Zarvarak of the Viachi, or Viatichi, rather, he got smacked over the head, which kind of sucks, because he was kind of our best ally right now. Uh, butts. <laughs> that, that, that just sucks. I, there's nothing else to say about that. Um, he's incapable now. Well, I guess, Latimer, you'll be our new guy. Why do you like us less because I did that for you? You'll be our cup bearer. Bearer of cups. Okay, anyway. That's fine. These are just two dudes over here. There's gonna be a huge war coming over this away soon, so we might as well get our men moving back out here. Where is this independence faction mostly? Uh, Moskva, Yaroslavl, and Surstalar. So, here, here, and here. Okay. And these guys, too. And they already have 27%, and they have 37 35%. Once they get up to 50%, then they're going to be a real problem. Uh, I wonder, I wonder if I can, uh, can kill this guy. His heir doesn't like me either. No valid plots. Right, because I'm a little kid. Yeah, because I'm a kid, I actually can't plot. Which is a little bit of a bummer. A little bit of a bummer, I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie about the bummer nature of that. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get our men over to Yaroslavl and get you guys over to Moskva. Good. Uh, just in case this independence war decides to break out, what do you want to give me? Gains the county of Zauzeri. That is exactly what I wanted. Good to know. And we can actually disband our military now. And we can drop everybody down. Uh, we didn't even take any vassal levies right now, which is good. Okay, so, um, in fact, we can go to war with this guy now, right? Oh, yes, we can! And we can subjugate the whole fucking thing. So you know what, High Chief Ketu? Was it really such a great idea to- Whoa, he has five allies, though. Damn. Okay, that's one ally. That's not a big deal. Uh, who's his next ally? High Chief of Kolasami. A little bit bigger of a deal. Okay. Who is your next ally? Uh, oh, Karelia. Okay, again, another kind of big deal. But, 1,500 men in the north probably means that we can do it. And with the 1,500 men that we'll have here... It'll be fine. One title can be usurped. The Duchy of Chud. We can we can usurp it and then he'll become our vassal. Right? I'm pretty sure that's what would happen there. Intriguing. Alright, um, let's deal... You know what? Before we do anything, before we even start subjugating this dude or doing whatever it is we want to do, let's deal with this independence faction here because this is going to be a problem here very, very soon. And uh, we definitely got to deal with that situation. Also, we have too many things. And who died? Died of severe stress. Well, that sucks. Known plots. Kill Radoslav. Not a big deal. Um, in the meantime, we can actually invite some holy men, because uh, I want a better spy master. is what I want, and hopefully we can achieve that. Well, we can, but they all hate me. Because fired from council, alright, well, yeah, short reign, religious differences. I'm Slavic, aren't I? Yeah, why Why do I have so many non-Slavs? Oh, it's all these Suomenesco guys, that's what it is. Well, that kind of sucks. Um, by the way, these are the holy sites. We need two more holy sites. We have one. We need this one, and we need this one. Uh, and then we will be able to reform the Slavic faith, which will be great, because it'll give us ho holy wars, hoary wars. Oh god, but they're both in Poland? Look how big Poland is. Well, that kind of sucks. Um, this actually, this war over here turned out really well, because it, uh, it fractured this, uh, Mer... Mer... Whatever. Fractured them, and, uh, they got done dealt with. Um, so let's hopefully let these guys deal with their independence uh, soon. So Chief Latimer, Helgi says he's better. He is slightly better, but he hates me. And he's just lowborn. So give Latimer a chance and maybe Latimer will like me more. Okay. Uh, claims to be better spy master than Chief Dobrazir. 
Uh, well, I mean, he's a chief of Scuv. I'd rather have some allies than you. Yes, I know that you're a better spy master, but give Dobrazir a chance, and hopefully Dobrazir uh, will like us more. And hopefully these guys will decide to claim independence already? Uh, that is my goal right now, is to get these guys to do it. Maybe I should just send them an insult. Uh, yeah, why don't you go ahead and get the, uh, court jester? How about that? Come on. Go independent. Uh, I always make sure the children get eagle parts when the cook gives me a sweet meats, full cream, milk, or anything else. It has to be fair, and I gain just... That's awesome. Good stuff. Uh, so we could usurp the title. I think, I'm pretty sure if I usurp the title, then he becomes my vassal. However, yeah, he's just the Duke of Chud. However, the problem is, I don't really want him as my vassal. I'd rather just take it. And what do I gain? Uh, always willing to follow the mightiest ruler. Takes or vassalizes. So it, it, I think I could do it either way, and I'd probably still get it. Um, yeah. Oh, and I also don't really want to use the subjugation. I forgot. I, I, I only have the subjugation because of the uh, my new life. I don't really want to waste that. So we're just going to usurp the title. How about that? Let's just do that. No, how much does it cost us? 190 gold? It's a lot of gold, actually, right now, considering we're about to fight an independence war. Um, yeah, I don't think I can afford 190 gold right now, considering. Um, I also have to remove some parts of my domain, so... Uh, let's take a look at our direct vassals. So we have all of this land. Oh, right, we have Vlogda. Yeah, we could give that away. Let's see. Is anyone in our court like us? Bayon Dulo, our, our father, likes us. And he'll probably always be cool with us. Right, Bayon Dulo? You're probably always going to be cool with us. And you're not really doing... Oh, you're being a steward. Are you our steward? No. Oh, why are you not our steward? You should be our steward. Yeah, be our steward, Dad. Alright, so our dads are steward, that's good. Uh, we get this guy to train troops right now. Um, so again, I'm, I guess I'm not going to give away the title to my dad. I could give it to Nicholas of Dorpat. He's from Dorpat, House of Dorpat. And I could give him Vologda. That'd be kind of fitting, right? He's diligent, he's humble, he's content. He's content, which is going to love me. Uh, which is good. So we're gonna go ahead and give you the county of Vologda. There we go. Enjoy yourself. There you go, and he fucking loves me. That is great. That is great to hear. Actually, is he Slavic? He is. Look at that! Wow! Wow! That is fantastic. And our, our domain size, suddenly, is pretty good! Uh, however, our money loss is not good, and Vassal Inheritance Warning this guy. Well, he's part of this independence faction, isn't he? Yeah, he's the main guy in the independence faction, so he's likely going to go to war with me soon. And once he does, then uh, I will strike him down, and uh, he will die a horrible death. One children lack a guardian. Our sister, why don't you go ahead and educate uh, why don't you get educated by... this guy. Actually, hold on a second, I just realized, I can use this. Uh, Chief Tess. Let's see by rank. High Chief of Rostov. Uh, Latimer likes me. Helgi, who is the Chief of Torzak. Yes, I will do that, because he will like me more. Cool. Good, good, good. Um, I can usurp this title. If these guys don't go to war with me right now... I'm gonna have to do something about it. Actually, I wonder, can I subjugate? I can subjugate Ruthenia and take it, but he's already at war, it seems, and he's defending. Yeah, he's defending against this guy, so I can't really do that. That's what I think my goal is gonna be, actually, is I'm going to take all of this land, hopefully. Uh, and do the conquest of Ruthenia, because we actually do need to conquer Ruthenia. Um, because that's a good that's a good chunk of land. So that's going to be our, our long-term goal. Right now, we're losing so much gold uh, that I'm a little bit scared. I just want this independence war to start. 
Here we go. All right. Um, so we have the Chiefess of Sir Stellar. Okay, good. Okay, Independence War has begun. After this, we can do our thing. Okay, open council positions. Our Chancellor obviously decided to stop. Uh, yeah, you be our Chancellor for now, because he doesn't have any titles, and I'm okay with that. Uh, and you can go ahead and increase relations with, I don't know, who's, uh... The Chief of Ingria still hates me. A lot. Chief of Kostroma? Yes. Why don't you go increase relations with Kostroma? Okay, so we're already sieging two of their cities. Uh, let us gather our armies and uh, siege the rest. Let's gather our forces into there. Large bands of rebels and opportunities. Oh, okay, well that sucks. Uh, so rebels are flocking to their cause. That was... Oh, fuck! Oh, I didn't realize. No, I do not want to ask about God because our dad is Tengri. No, no. We were going to go play with our friends. Okay, well, he has 3,000 men there, so we're going to have to run. And he's getting there on the 8th of November, and we're getting at the 23rd of November. Shit. All right, this is a big deal. All right, we're going to have to raise all vassal levies. And get everybody going here. Because we're going to have to take... Yeah, he's he's going to just smash that army real bad. Yeah, so we're going to get everybody going up here. To deal with this 600 men. You guys get in there as well. Yeah, Battle of Toga. Not surprising. Tolga, rather. Okay, so they have 3,000 men because of their uh, rebel forces. Now, I wonder where they're going. They're going to Belo Azero, which is bad. So that means that we're going to have to get the western armies going here in Torzak and the eastern armies here in Vologda. You guys can go to Torzak. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to help our forces there, which is kind of a bummer. I will be honest. And is he still going? Bello Azero. Yeah, they're all going to Bello Azero. Okay, so we're going to gather up the rest of our troops. I think we should have enough uh, to potentially spank them. Spank them good. Let's get these guys going. Yeah, that's unfortunate. They're going to Bello Azero as well. You guys join up. Let's get... Yeah, Helgi's leading. That's fine. Uh, we'll get the other Helgi on the flank, and the other... Actually, this Helgi, you have flank leader, don't you? No, it's the other one. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. We're still looking good. These guys are going to Bello Zero. They're gonna have a good force. A really good force. We're gonna have to get these guys put together. Which is gonna happen soon. Okay, a defeat, and they are going to Torzak, and, uh. Hmm. Okay, we have to wait till the 30th of December. They're not moving. Okay. We'll, we'll happily let them. Yeah, they're not gonna fight into us. Good. So it looks like we're going to gather our forces up together. Where are you going? You're going to Bello Zero. You're going to Kostroma. You're going there. Okay. This is going to be a serious independence war. A serious independence war. Shit is going to go down here. The kidnappers overpowered me? Oh, fuck me, bro. Really? And made sure I could not call for help by some filthy rag, but luckily they did not get far away. What? I was in my own place! I was in Home Garter! Oh, wait, no! Chief Vladimir and the guards managed to free me! Whoa! That's awesome! Oh, dude! Vladimir! You are a god! It's the Chief of Belo Azero, too! Oh, it's probably because I'm being fucking tutored by him. No, I'm being tutored by my dad. Wow. Well, Chief Vladimir, you are a goddamn G. He's actually, like, the last of the House Slavensky, too, I think. Uh, unless... Unless it's in Skov, too. 
Yeah, he's he's still House Slavensky, and you're still House Slavensky. So actually, not the last of House Slavensky, but you are a god. I think we have a new master of disaster here, Chief Vladimir. He just saved our fucking life. That would have ended the war. Probably. That probably would have ended the war. Um, so why don't you guys go over here and then potentially get back over here. Now, I'm not saying it's going to work, but uh, it's worth a try at the very least. Okay, it looks like they actually might have more men than I do. It's possible. I don't know. We're about to find out, I guess. Undoubtedly, we're going to have a war to fight. Ah, shit. You know what? You guys go ahead and disband. They're not going to get there in time or just get around anywhere. Um, you guys can come too. Alright, let's 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 just get the biggest death stack that we can get. How about that? 4,000 men. That's good. Inga is still... Yeah, you're still the best. And we have another four, 500 dudes coming in. We'll let them join up with our forces and then we'll siege them. Uh, well, not siege them, but we'll we'll fight them. So that means we're going to have 4,500 men, which is going to be pretty good. Uh, 17th of March we're waiting for. Oh, God, I don't feel well. I'm ill. Well, I don't have any air. No, our heir is, is our other brother, who's three. Oh, God, we're ill. That's, that's real bad. I hope we're okay. Okay. Here we go. We got 4,500 men. If this isn't enough, I don't know what is. 1,500 more than they have, and we're headed out. They're not leaving. They're letting it happen. I'm letting it happen, too. All right, guys, moment of truth. Here we go. This could decide the fate of the entire kingdom. In fact... All right, it looks like we're looking pretty good so far. Our enemy has died, the war has ended. This guy fucking died again. And we can't do anything about the other dudes. The enemy, the war's over. The war's over because High Chief Tiyukizhut is dead. And uh, I guess you're the new High Chief. And you, I, can, I can't even revoke your title. Yeah, no. I could award you an honorary title, though. Why don't you get Master of the Bow, bro? And how about I send you a gift? 17? No, I don't really care that much. Okay. Well, that's the end of the war. <laughs> that was really fucking... Uh... That was, that was a bit anticlimactic, I have to say. That was just a bit anticlimactic. I, uh, I kind of wanted us to win... But now we have a bunch of vassals who hate us again. Oh, god damn it. Alright. So, one thing I think we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, rely on our own military force and probably usurp Chud. But, we're gonna do that in the next episode. Oh, wow, it's High Chief Ketu the second, so that guy's dead too. Oh, man, we can't even exact our revenge for our mother's death. That sucks. Alright. Well, I think... Oh man, and these guys are losing too. I think our next goal is to usurp this title. And I think we should probably be able to do it. Um, fairly easily. Uh, and then, and then we... Like, once we're the High Chief... Like, how, how big is the land? Yeah, it's all these places. So, once we usurp this title, um... We become the king, I think? And, uh, or we, we, they'll just become our vassals, so I, I think, I think that's fine. Here's a question, actually, before we go. Uh, I wonder if I can offer vassalization. He says no. False religion, base reluctance. What's your, what's your religion, Suomenesco? Alright, can I offer you vassalization, I wonder? Uh, no, he has to be at peace. That kind of sucks. Can I offer you vassalization? No. What are the other slobs in the region? Uh, nothing. Alright, well, 
Looks like we're not going to get off easy. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Uh, that's going to be the end of this episode of Crusader Kings 2. We have some things to do here uh, in the future. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, hopefully I haven't messed up too bad. But I probably did. Anyway. This is Back Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.